Right, let us look at uh, PSSD N2, planting a state structure as drawing N2 for this previous question paper. Planting and structural stick drawing N2 was written on the 20 April 2021. So let us look at, I want us to look at figure 2. Figure 2, diagram sheet 2. Figure two. So this is these are the question for figure two. So diagram sheet two attached shows a twisted rectangular ducting with a round corner. It is twisted and it is with a round corner. So draw the front view. If given one mark, to draw the front view. Draw the top view. One mark again. Draw the development. Develop the pattern of the plate. For the ducting, you've given how much? 18 marks. So all in all, is paying 25 marks. So let's do that. So the very first thing that you are going to draw, you are going to draw the given view like it as they've set and using a scale of one is to one. You see, there it's a scale of one is to one. So now let's start. I'll start with the horizontal line going like this horizontal line like this as well as the vertical one. I hope you can see my faint line so from this corner I can start recording 43 millimeter from here to here which is this one Forty-three, forty-five, forty-four, forty-three. Yeah, going back. Solid. Then forty-eight, the height. Forty-eight from here. Forty-eight, 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 forty-eight,
top view so this one from here today is 20 which is that one so i can just throw it faint dark now from here till it's dark already then from here coming down i record 20 millimeter again which is that one so where is it my 20 is ending here I record and draw. You understand? So I'm told what from here till here is solid. So I can draw it solid once from here till the this is it. And again from here till here. Solid from here till there. There you go. Then from there to the solid, from here to the solid, from here to the solid, which means dark here, dark there. And dark here. Then from here, hidden. You understand? Hidden there, then from there. Can have this one solid. Can have this one solid. And now, can place the drawing compass here and get to this side up. Like this. There you go. Talk like this. Right then. Right then, when you check, the set there is AA. So if I can uh, simplify it, this one for you, it's good as if this thing is like this. These are two. Then the second one is like this. If I can rough sketch it for you. So there are two. So it is very much important to number your your work so that you know uh, if you take a closer look there by your front view, we've got the bottom part of it and the upper part of it. So then I'll decide to to say I've got an A here. Let me put it here. Still on the same thing. This is B. Then this is C. Then uh, before I'll have this is A, B, C, clockwise C, D. So I'll have to divide this one into 12 equal parts. Like the way we used to divide circle into 12 equal parts. You understand? So, so I'll have point there. Because this one is more like a cycle, isn't it? And a point right here. So A B C D E F back to A. So I cannot come this side. Do you understand? Yes. The moment I'm coming this side, I'm now talking about something else. You understand? I'm now talking about something else. So I'm now talking about this one. So now I can come to say I've got a one here. Two, three, four, five, six. You understand? Six back to one. Even if I can say I've got a seven there, which means E F I, which means yeah, I can still say I've got an I there. You understand? So it is very much important to number so that you know from there where are you going to how are you going to get your at your 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 full development so if i can have this a uh, numbering system there by my front view i will have this one will go up like this a d like this and the e like that 
you understand so which means i am going to have a c and a, a b the very same point there to the very same point here and i'll have a what a a d and five d and the five and the e and the four and f and a three understand so this one on the upper and the two and the one it will be there two one two three which means actually the three is up there the four up there the five up there and the six up there so which means on the bottom one i cannot have the numbers on the bottom now i cannot have the numbers so on the upper one is numbers on the bottom one is numbers so i can erase this five four three next one They cannot share the same point. Right. Then from there, I am. Go I have to get their true length. From there, I have to get their true length. So I'll come and place my drawing compass at this point. Further extended to point two. This one. Then I strike an arc coming this side then I can indicate by an arrow OT I strike this arc going this side going this direction and then I go up faint then I can name this point M this one R stand for the reference of all the points that I am about to get so this one I can remove it this one I don't need it anymore right so I am going to start with what with this one so you remember Uti, when we move from a number to a number we do not have to convert to our true length from an alphabet to an alphabet we do not have to convert to our true length but from a number to an alphabet that's when we're going to convert to our true length so now i'm going to just get the uh, i'll just start with the what with the faint line somewhere here then from this faint line i take my drawing compass and place it at point one to six point one to six i do not have to convert it then i come here i mark and i mark where i was placing my compass you understand so I can come to say this is my point six was my I want this development to go the side this is going to be point six and this is going to be point one then I can raise this one just a little bit then I can draw it dark draw it dark then from there From there I can place my drawing compass from point one till point A. You see that one is a number to an alphabet. So that one I have to convert it. I come and place it at R and mark there. Then I give it a name as A1. Understand? So I take it to my M point, median point up there. This one. There you go. Then from there, let's see. I place it here and further extend it to the point one. Understand? So this is one, isn't it? So uh, we are looking for point A. So we do have, we do have one six, which is one six. So the point that we are looking for point a so i can place it here sorry there by our development isn't it from here then i come and strike an arc somewhere there 
I will make it a, a little bit long this arc of ours you understand so since we are looking for the point A so I can have an imaginary line from C from point 6 to point A like this one so this is not a hidden detail it's just an imaginary line you understand so now after I've gotten that so I can now place my drawing compass at point uh, 6 further to the uh, to the point that we are looking for which is point A isn't it this one and then I have to convert it as well convert it there you go so this one is going to be point this is going to be point uh, A this is going to be point A 6 then from there I can take it up to my M point median point up to my median point like this so it is very important for you to take it like this then from there I can place it at my A6 to my median point like this there you go then now without disturbing your drawing compass then you can come back to it and put it now here at your 6 your development 6 and by sec by sec this arc of yours so this is going to be point six so i can erase this one i don't need them anymore isn't it and have this one now from here till the solid duck there you go and like this we go So that's how we've gotten our point six. So from one to six, we did not convert it, it to our true length because of it was moving from a number to a number, isn't it? So how did you got point six? We place our drawing compass at a, a one, which is what we have, to the point that we're looking for, which is point A, and convert it to our true length, isn't it? And come and place it here and bisect this arc. Understand? And point six, which is this one, which we have it, then we place our compass at point six further to the point that we're looking for, which is point A, and convert it. You understand? And converted it. Then from there, place our drawn compass here to, to the point M, then come and bisect this arc of yours. So now I want to move from 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 point uh, A to B A to B A to B I do not have to convert it isn't it I'll take it the way as it is then I come and mark this side give it a mark this side just like this how did I got it? I placed my drawing compass at point A. There by our top view, A to B, I do not have to convert it to our true length. I just take it the way as it is. Then this is the mark of it. Then from there, we, we are going to do 